Welcome to the Nokia Optical Networking Learning Essentials video series from the Nokia Optical Network Certification Program, an end-to-end -end learning program supporting Nokia 1830 PSS, PSI, VWM, NFMT, and WaveSuite-based networks. In this video, we will show you optical network design with highest availability. This video has been created based on the Nokia Fundamentals of Optical Network Design course. Due to the constant network evolution, proper network design has become essential to the network planning process. The planning process is a continuous circular process that involves integration between financial and engineering activities to guarantee the final results. In support of the eight-step process proposed for network design, the Engineering and Planning Tool, or EPT, offers a tool to design a network throughout its whole life cycle. The tool manages photonic transport layers based on the 1830 PSS portfolio. Today, we'll demonstrate optical protection survivability mechanisms in a lab exercise using EPT. During the course delivery, we learn how to improve optical services resilience to failures by using several different mechanisms. Some of these mechanisms are based on traffic protection, while others are based on traffic restoration. In this video, we'll focus on traffic protection, where dedicated additional resources are assigned to protect the customer service. A typical optical protection is the Electrical Subnetwork Connection Protection, or ESNCP, which is implemented electrically. The client signal is connected to one client port on the optical transponder, or OT, and transmit it in both line directions, working and protecting. Another typical optical protection is the Optical Subnetwork Connection Protection, or OSNCP, which is implemented optically. In this case, we use dedicated 1 plus 1 resources that split the client data traffic on a primary and a secondary OT. Therefore, it requires two OT cards per termination site. This provides the service with additional protection, not only the line, but also transponder faults. During the course delivery, we analyze the availability of the services, which is tightly connected with the survivability mechanisms illustrated before. This step is done after the network element definition step. We can calculate the availability of this example considering both protecting paths. Then, considering the protection configuration, the total availability results in a 5-9's availability. Next, we'll complete the following lab exercise using EPT. We'll evaluate the traffic demand and the network configuration. Then, we'll define the four sites as in the network diagram, with their fiber links whose optical characteristics reflect the physical deployment. Now, we can move to the EPT software, where we have defined our design's optical segments and sites. Next, we need to create the services with different protection types. Let's right-click on the source node and select Create Service. Then, let's click on the destination node. A window will open where we can define the service type. In this window, we can select the supporting board, the rate, and the protection desired for the service. At the same time, we can create a new trail to transport the service. When the protection option is selected, the secondary panel gets enabled. This panel specifies the parameters of the protecting path. When done, we can click the Run Design button, selecting the option Do not remove any designed elements to create the new service while keeping the existing configuration. Once the process is completed, we can verify the configuration of the cards from the menu Card View. We can see the ports used to transport this service with ESNCP protection. Then, let's create another service, this time with optical SNCP protection. This time, we set the protection as diverse path in the Create Service window. Finally, we can compute the design again.
we can verify the new service as before. This time, the service uses two different boards, so it's further protected against optical transponder failures, as previously mentioned. Finally, we can display the routes taken by service. The Show Route function displays the working path in green and the protecting path in purple. This way, we can guarantee path diversity. We have now completed the creation of the service. Under the Schematic View window, we can inspect the hardware required and the internal connections. Under the Reports menu, the design can be exported for automatic provisioning with a bill of materials. Let's summarize what we've learned today. Network planning is a continuous process in which each network has its own optimal solution, depending on the requirements and some constraints. The network design process involves many calculations. The design tool can simplify this process and minimize the risk of errors. Service and equipment protection can be used to increase the service assurance to 5.9's availability. Typical optical protections, such as electrical SNCP and optical SNCP, split the client data traffic to protect the service against line and equipment faults. Thanks for watching, and look for more videos in our Optical Networking Learning Essential series. Whether your goal is to enhance your optical networking skills or demonstrate your expertise through one of four industry-recognized certifications, the Optical Network Certification Program is here to get you, your career, and your organization on the right path. Our program features 10 instructor-led courses developed by our team of subject matter experts using industry best practices, use case-driven examples, and hands-on labs. Learn more and get started today by visiting our website. Thank you.